Hey, 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 coming at you live from my humble abode on a happy Friday. Uh, and before I get to the topic, I actually ran into a baby beaver tonight, accidentally. Um, I was going to the movies with my girlfriend, and someone was yelling at me from across the parking lot. I saw you, whoever you are. You didn't stop to say hi or say your name or whatnot, but I'm pretty sure you were talking to me, maybe. So if it was you, you should holler at me down in the comments so I can at least say hello. This week we're talking obviously about uh, digging someone who's in a relationship already. <sighs> Normally my videos are pretty positive with like a happy undertone, with like a one love, let's all feel the rhythm and help each other out and I, <clears throat> baby babies, we gotta help each other out. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna get on my soapbox for for a minute, for two minutes. There are a billion fish in the sea, a billion, and and you probably know maybe a hundred or a thousand or two thousand. But my point is, there are plenty of other people that you should uh, you should get to know and you should be friends with and you should see the possibility there. Trying to date someone that's in a relationship, even if they're cool with it, is a messy, messy situation. Guaranteed hearts get broken. And that sucks, you know, because I understand how it feels to, to dig someone and, and for it to be a little complicated and for you to see a possibility for you to get in there, even if it's with good intention. But um, a lot of times you end up looking like the bad guy, you know. Um, even if things were going to go south before you came along. So, as far as this particular girl goes, I think all you can do is be her friend, you know? Uh, I think you need to give it some time, and if in fact you're right and they do break up, then more power to you. Go for it, you know? At least you're already in the door and you're already her friend, uh, you know, so you, it won't seem so stalkerati for you to, uh, to get in the middle of them, you know? And also on your part, you know, looking out for you, um, People that are in relationships and um, cheat or end relationships uh, because of whatever reason tend to repeat those behaviors. Not saying that once a cheater, always a cheater, but most likely if if that person leaves someone else for you, then there's a good possibility they might do the same um, to you for someone else. So you just might keep that in mind. Um, as far as, as telling a girl if you're... Um, interested that you're available or that that you are bisexual and that she she should consider you approachable um i think that what jess had to say was right on you know i think you should just say that i would really love the chance to take you out or you know come at it from um an action oriented point of view if you're not that close to them um and then you know it won't seem so awkward like you're sharing something personal like that um they might not know what to do with does that make sense I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling. Anyway, that's what I have to say. So, I hope you're looking out. Um, and I hope that the situation goes well. You know, if it, if it's only a matter of time, then just give it a little time. There's no rush. Just don't settle for anything less, okay? In other news, my cousin graduates tomorrow, so I'll be doing that this weekend. Um feels like just yesterday that we were chilling as kids, you know, making mud pies and stuff like that, but uh, she's graduating high school, so that's cool. I'm super proud of her, and uh, I think that we're going to go to the zoo tomorrow, and I'm excited because we haven't been to the zoo, and I haven't been to the zoo in a really long time, and I really like wildlife. So, are you guys fans of the zoo? What, what's your favorite animal? Do you ever, like, freak out on certain exhibits? Like, I really don't like bats or any sort of, like thing that would be flying towards my head or insects they kind of creep me out too i don't know i like i like big furry animals keeping it safe you know at least you can play dead with them also check this out super stoked they're putting an in and out burger in dallas yay everybody do the happy dance everybody do the happy dance i'm gonna have a happy artery clogged heart